Hi again, uh, this is a little uh, Heath kit uh, grid dip meter, model GD1U and uh, you can see it's dibbering around a bit there and uh, the, the pot seems to be suffering there, the sensitivity uh, pot. So uh, I'm just going to give it a sniff of uh, WD40 and uh, see if I can improve it. Well, I'll just unplug it. It's got it unplugged. And, Let it warm up. Now it's uh, it's been suggested that um, it's a little bit better. It's still twitchy, but it's uh, it's been suggested that uh, if you leave this a little bit, it uh, it'll improve with age. So. Uh, it's, it's not just the working of it, um, but uh, it seems to get into the carbon and uh, do something good. Well, immediately, I'd say that's uh, that's about forty percent better than it was. So uh, I'll come back to it in a, in a in a little while. I actually never could wait very long for anything. Uh, I've given it uh, 30 minutes and uh, look at this for a, a restoration what a nice action that is it was actually uh, Rick on uh, All American 5 Radio uh, that uh, suggested that uh, letting the WD-40 soak in uh, has a beneficial effect and uh, boy that's uh, that's really good. Um, I used to use this thing called Electrolube in the past. I'm not sure what was in that. In the last couple of days I've fixed my uh, advanced uh, radio frequency signal generator that had a dirty variable capacitor contact. Uh, my oscilloscope that had a, um, uh, a dirty contact on the microvolt uh, range selection switch and now this uh, little uh, heath kit uh, grid dip meter so that's uh, that's really feels real precision now I've got total control um, uh, so, so that's a joy um, I have a blacksmith friend uh, that says um, after working hard when his hands get really sore he rubs them with uh, WD-40 so I guess it's a wonder a wonder product uh, thanks for watching guys bye bye